The date was May 25, 1961, a joint session of the Congress of the United States of America. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long-range exploration of space. Forward. Forward. At 40 feet down, two and a half. Picking up some dust. 30 feet, two and a half down. Great shadow. Four forward. Four forward, drifting to the right a little. Down a half. 30 seconds. Forward, just. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. APA at a descent. Boat control, both auto, descent engine command override off. Engine arm off. 413 is in. We copy it down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twain. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. On July 20th, 1969, at 17 minutes after the hour of 3 p.m., while astronaut Michael Collins orbited above in the command module, astronauts Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin touched down on the ancient face of the moon in the southern part of the Sea of Tranquility. Looks like a collection of just about every variety of uh, shape, angularity, granularity, but every variety of rock you could uh, find. The color is, uh, well, it varies pretty much depending on uh, how you're looking relative to the uh, zero phase point. Uh, there doesn't appear to be too much of a general color at all. However, it looks as though some of the uh, rocks and boulders, of which there are quite a few in the uh, near area, uh, looks as though they're going to have uh, some interesting colors to them over. Right, tranquility. Uh, be advised, there are lots of smiling faces in this room and all over the world. Over. Uh, there are two of them up here. Right, it was a beautiful job, you guys. And don't forget one in the command module. I'd say the color uh, of the the uh, local uh, surface is uh, very comparable to that we observe from orbit at this sun angle. Uh, about. 10 degrees uh, sun angle or that nature. It's uh, pretty much without color. It's uh, gray and uh, it's uh, very white, or chalky gray as you look uh, into the zero phase line and uh, it's uh, uh, considerably darker gray, uh, more like a ash, ashen gray as you look out 90 degrees to the sun. Roger. This is the LEM pilot. I'd like to take this opportunity to ask every person listening in, whoever, wherever they may be, to pause for a moment and contemplate the events of the past few hours and to give thanks in his or her own way. At 9.56 p.m., astronauts Armstrong and Aldrin opened the lunar module hatch, and astronaut Armstrong began the descent to man's first steps on the moon. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The lamb footbeds are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches, although the surface appears to be uh, very very fine-grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Ground mass uh, is very fine. Okay, I'm going to step off the lamb now. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. There seems to be no difficulty in moving around as 
as we suspect it, uh, it's even perhaps easier than the simulations of 16 g that uh, we performed uh, in various simulations on the ground. Absolutely no trouble to uh, walk around. Uh, Roger, Neil, we're reading you loud and clear. It's a very soft surface, but uh, here and there where I plug with the uh, with the contingency sample collector, I run into uh, uh, very hard uh, surface, but it appears to be uh, uh, very cohesive uh, uh, material of the, of the same sort. I'll try to get a rock in here. Get a couple.